Beloved in Christ, I don't know if you have ever had uh, this experience that I have had, and that's the times when you feel alone. Even though when there could be many people around you, you could have many friends, and um, but at the same time, and even family uh, that is with you. But there's a sense of loneliness, even to the part, to the depth of abandonment. You know, it's almost as though you feel the Lord has left you and have left you alone. And beloved, that's not an unusual feeling. But we as believers do not rely upon our feeling. We rely upon our faith. And when we rely upon our faith, then we know that Jesus said, I would never leave you, nor would I ever forsake you. So that alone brings us a sense of comfort. And that's why it's so important that we have God's word on the inside of us. That God, by his spirit, can continue to bring in remembrance to us the promises that he has made to us. Because we have to remember there is an enemy of our soul that is out in the earth. And he desires to have us feel lonely. To have us believe that we have been aban abandoned by God. Beloved, Jesus never abandoned us. And nor have the Father abandoned us. Look what the Word of God says and what Jesus said to the disciples when he was about to leave them and they felt sorrow in their heart. Look at the 16th uh, chapter of the 16th chapter of John where we've been studying and the fifth verse. It says, But now I go my way to him that sent me. Jesus said, I'm going to the Father now. And none of you even ask me where are you going or where whither goest thou. But because I said these things to you, sorrow had now filled your heart. And beloved, that's something that you and I have to be concerned about when we have a sense of abandonment or we have a sense of we're going through a difficult situation and it seems that as though God is not answering our prayer at that time and then we have a sense of abandonment as though we stand alone we have to always always remember uh, this what Jesus said nevertheless I tell you Glory be to God. I love that. I tell you the truth. We've been talking about the truth. I tell you the truth. Glory be to God. I, I noticed even when Paul is sharing many times, he used those words. I lie not. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. And even Jesus himself, the Son of God, who had walked with the disciples, even had to say, I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. It is expedient or advantageous for you that I do go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. So, beloved, we have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. That is our comforter. That is the supreme knowledge that we will never, ever be alone again. Amen? So, even when our flesh feels alone, we are never alone. Because 
the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, dwells on the inside of us. A promise from Jesus. Amen. So, beloved, when you feel a sense of abandonment or you have done something that you feel as though God has put you away and he no longer wants to speak to you, beloved, it's just a sense of feeling. Because there is no condemnation that God has against his children. He may chastise you because you're his child, but no condemnation. He's not condemning you. He's simply chastising you. But he has not forsaken you. He has not left you. He is still your father. Beloved, be blessed in that knowledge of knowing that the father will not forsake you. In Jesus' name.